We're gonna go take the road trick for its first car wash after uh, our restoration, I guess you could call it. We're gonna see how it drives, see how it performs. We did a couple things for um, alternator charging, so we're gonna be keeping an eye on that as well. And this thing is dirty. <laughs> thing is a nice ride. Whoa. So first of all, we equipped this thing with a nice power system, a 12 volt power system. The old one was a bit dated and wasn't holding the charge anymore. We made this thing fully off-gridable, added some solar, upgraded the appliances, microwave, fridge, gave the plumbing a good look over. He had some leaks here and there and some stuff he wanted eliminated. Did a bunch of carpentry as well and the flooring. It's been like a moderate restoration. It wasn't a full tear out or anything like that, but there were some things that needed some work. We just went through with a fine tooth comb, I guess, cleaned it up and gave this thing a new life. Hopefully they get another, you know, 30, 40 years out of it before it needs any upgrades. It did have some mechanical work done at some point before, so we'll see how well that mechanic did on it. And we'll see how much it leaks after all the work we've done. Hopefully none, but you never know. And hopefully I didn't leave any tools on the roof. That'd be bad. <laughs> the owner of this thing, it's a 80 year old couple and the guy is really into it. He knows all the history. So it's been really fun to learn about these. They've got a bit of a cult following, you know, they road trek owners wave at each other on the road type of thing. Road Trek's motto was something along the lines of an RV that drives like a van or something like that, which isn't crazy these days, but when this came out, there wasn't many people doing it to this level. So with our updates, we kind of brought it up to, up to par with the modern vans, modern appliances and more efficient. I think Road Trek would be proud of our of our updates, maybe. This thing drives really nice. It drives better than my truck. It's nice and straight. Here we are. Oh. All right. Let's see how she cleans up. much but it's got the inch of dirt off of it from it sitting for a month in the shop. This is one of the big upgrades, the bigger points that we did. This is a 12 volt power system, fully off grid. We have solar, we have alternator charging, and we have a 2000 watt inverter here. This is about as powerful as you need on something like this. We got a 200 amp hour life blue battery. This should be enough capacity for them when they're out fishing and you know hanging out with their family. So we went with the 2000 watt inverter because they really wanted a microwave in there. And so we those pull some pretty high wattages. So we needed a bit of a bigger inverter. But other than that, that's probably their biggest pull. Power in the fridge, the lights, the fan. This should do just fine for a long time probably without a charge so so another thing we did is we laid some nice floors in here uh, this is marmoleum flooring as well as some custom trims because they had carpet in here before believe it or not and they didn't trim anything out so we had to go in and kind of trim up all the edges and that's probably one of my favorite parts um, that was very laborious as you'll see over here there's some pretty intricate pieces i was actually able to keep their whole control panel here with the added inverter switch and their original battery switch still works and that's all the same. I really like to keep things as close to original as I can. I just think that really has a feel to it in these older vehicles. So this is one of the trims here that I was pretty stoked about. Did a custom shrink on this to make this curve on both sides and it carries into the cabinets here. Also went through and just cleaned everything up. This is the original table base mount. Just trying to keep as many original components in here as possible to really 
you know, keep that old school feel. I think that's important in these things. They had a pretty funny window unit AC up here um, that was kind of just built into the chassis and that thing hasn't worked in years and nor do they ever need it. So one of the bigger undertakings was removing that, patching it from the rear and turning it into this cubby here, which I think turned out pretty good. Had to track down wood that somewhat matched the original. Obviously I couldn't get, get it perfect, but I think at, at least at first glance, it looks pretty bright. This is another area that took a lot of time. They had a smaller microwave in here, so we had to bring down the shelf and up the fridge to fill the void because they had a bigger fridge in here before. Pretty nice fridge and I think it fits well. We also got a new Dometic fan in here. Their old fan had uh, given up, so they were definitely in need of that. Yeah, so this is a really fun project. This is really my favorite thing to do. It's a pleasure to work on and I think the customer is going to be stoked. And the one thing you got to remember if the vans are rocking, don't come knocking. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that'll work. <laughs> I think this, that sums up this van pretty well. <laughs>